It seemed like Trey Marshall was really active. He had a couple big hits. How good is it to have that guy back at 100% now? Oh, he's a big help. He's a big help to the secondary. Like I said, he brings that toughness. And not only toughness, but smart to the secondary that we move. I feel like he's doing very good. Jimbo was talking about you as one of the leaders of the defense. Really praised your leadership ability. What, what does that mean to you? That means a lot. That means that I'm, I'm not just worried about myself and get my teammates better and at the same time get myself better. I feel like uh, that's a good place for, for me. Like I said, they don't, they don't mind how, how young they are. They come out there, they try to make plays, they compete at a high level. And I just really like what this team is doing, um, how far we've been on the field. You can relate to that. Competing young yeah. guys. What does it take to be able to do that? It takes hard. It takes hard. It takes just playing, playing football. You can go back and play one of the games, play football. You can never go down to it. I always play football. With the spring game being in Orlando, what does it just do for you guys uh, being on the field and just being away from Tallahassee and Doe Campbell? What does it do for you guys? Oh, uh, it, it's, it's like it's like a business trip. It's just like going to a away game, preparing the same. It, it just give us, it gives us instead of playing in the stadium, it gives us somewhere like a new home to play, somewhere to play in the backyard. It's a new, new place to play. Is there anything that you were instructed on in terms of the spring game to really focus on in terms of your own personal progression coming into come the out, season? Just come out here, get better, and just compete at a high level. That was everybody's progression. Just come out here and compete at a high level. Jimbo said he was happy that you guys were really competing. You know, did you sense that at competitions? Oh, yeah, we was going back and forth. Like I said, y'all, y'all can see that we was going back and forth. I was talking to him, they was talking to us. So, you know, everybody just want to win at the end of the day. Everyone has a similar, so we're happy. What do you think now the priorities are going to be in the offseason as you really kind of nail them? Man, you focusing on what it's going to take to win the championship. Oh, yeah. Uh, basically, just moving forward, not going backwards. Like I said, we, we're, at, we're at a good uh, start, and I feel like if we just keep working and just listening to what our coaches are telling us, we'll, we'll be in a good position to come fall time. So what do you all have to do to keep moving forward? Well, watch film, stay on each other, hold each other accountable, and just the little stuff off the field, not, not only on the field, but off the field, too. Are you excited about the quarterback situation? Oh, yeah. Like I said, it's a battle. It's, not, it's just not the quarterback position. It's, it's every position. Every position is a battle. Nobody knows what nobody's playing. Like, like, like y'all seen today, everybody can everybody can play. Everybody can make plays. And it's just good competition. I love competition. Are you drawing back? After one of your hits on Ryan Green, it looked like he was drawing at you a little bit. Yeah, yeah. You know, this is part of the game between the white lines. You know, at the end of the day, we family. But I'm going to let them have it while we out there. So. <laughs> What does Auden Tate add to this offense if he can become a weapon? Oh, he, he's adding that vertical threat that we need, that big body that we need outside. And I feel like he's, he's getting better every day and he's becoming tougher and tougher every day. And I feel like uh, if he working and just don't settle for what he is now, he'll be a great receiver. It looked like McFadden actually had good coverage. Yeah, that was, that, that, was a perfect, that was a perfect defense. Coach couldn't um, teach Tavares to better defense than that. It was just a, a perfect ball and just, a, like I said, a better catch. Jimbo said your personality is, is good for a leader because guys like being around you. Are you excited about being a sophomore now and having a chance to really step up as a leader? Oh, yeah. It's a, it's a big part. I, I take pride in just being a leader and being like that person that everybody can listen to or come to when something ain't going right. And I, I feel like it's not just about me. It's about my team and my coaches. That's what I, I stress the most every day. And I try to get my teammates better no matter who's out there. I'm looking to get them better. Where it takes. How good was it to see Jameis and Rashad and those guys come back? Oh, it, it's great to see those guys. It, it, it's great to see them that they, that they left the program, even though they're in the NFL, they, they come back and show love. It's still a family. It's just we're like their younger brothers, so we're carrying on the legacy that they left from there.